that good one. So, okay. So, okay, yeah, that's your water pump right there. Mm -hmm. If you're running water out of your tank, if you are running from this, from the hose, from, you know, from a hose, then the pressure would from the hose would, would work. Work there. Yep, okay. You don't need your water pump. Um, and then. And then, do I always want to leave this on, or? No, you you want to leave that off until you have water in your tank, your your water heater. You okay. Want, you want to make sure you have water in your water heater before you turn that. All right, and so I okay. So can you use this with CD water or gotta fill yes. it there? Nope, you can use it for both. For so, both. Because that will fill your water your water heater. The, way. the water heater is separate than the than this right. one. Right. Okay. Yep. yep. Alright. Um, and then to check your gray water, you hit that button, the top button, mm -hmm. and then it empty. It's eating. Yep. It's empty. Your black tank. Empty. Your fresh water tank. Empty. And then your battery. So battery is full. full. full battery. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I can check. Okay. Now that makes yeah. sense. And then, um, can I? So, with some of like the electronics here and all of this, so it's running off the battery now. Correct. Okay. Can if I get the solar? There was a solar. Was there a solar power plug here? Yeah. Yeah. So if I get that, that just simply charges the battery. Right. Um, so if I put that, it's just basically to charge the battery, and then we'll right. run this. Yeah, it will it will run like your light, your yeah. So yeah, that just charges charges the battery. If you have a, you don't have a fan and there's no fan here too as well. Right. The, the, is um, it fan in the? And does it run the AC too? It does not. AC you have to be plugged in for. Plugged in for, for CD, like like. You have to have the, the big like cord for forty. Into. But it's one ten. One ten. Okay. It's Thirty amps. Okay, and then this one's a how many amps? That's that's twelve volt. So twelve volt. Twelve volt. This is one ten. One ten. Okay. Yeah. And your microwave is one ten. So it has to be plugged in. Right. I can't run that off the battery. Right. Okay. And then your and then, uh, your, okay, like your outlets. Would that be, like would this be 110. like this one right here. Correct. Correct. That would be one ten. So I I can't run that off the battery at all. Right. No right. way. It's, no. So I'm gonna charge my laptop. I need to be plugged. Right, right. There is maybe TV. TV, right here. Yeah. Oh, GIF, CI. Okay, here's your TV hookup. Okay. Sometimes that would have a like the old cigarette outlets in, but it, that one does not. Does not. Okay. Um, this is propane, of propane. course. Propane. Yep. So for, for me to run that, I just open up the propane tank. Right. It has to be open, yep. and then off I can go. Then you, you turn it on and, and can I try that? Little... Just one second. We would need a lighter. You need a lighter. Yep. Uh. And my camping, <laughs> my camping stuff. So for this one, put the gas on up front. Yeah, I just open it up. Okay. So, so then, okay, now. Okay. I can hear gas. There you go. Oh, did you just have to hold it? Mm -hmm. It's good. Try this one. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Up in there. Huh. Just, just Maybe you need it sometime. Yeah, it, it took a little bit. Oh, is that? Oh. Just. Okay. And then just turn it up. Yeah. And then preferably you want to keep the that off. With that. Oh, does it? Because you, some you can, you can. some folks don't they run off. Um, don't they run off extra power by gas? I thought I saw some of that in some app. Not, not like your air conditioner. You can, if you're on a generator, mm -hmm. you can run to get power in. Like I know and some refrigerators run off of gas. But this, this, one run, this one runs off your battery. Battery. Okay, so this refrigerator runs off that battery. Right. right. Okay. So if you have solar power, and it can, it cannot run off of gas at all. No. So okay. So right now the refrigerator is gonna be working. Uh, it, it would. Yeah, I don't. 
Oh, well, oh, it, there's light in there, yeah. Right. Oh, but it's off. Right. Off grid. Oh, I guess maybe that's it. Off grid. Yeah, off grid doesn't take as much. And then, okay. So. Yeah. Yep. You see, when I go somewhere, it affects the light. Okay. Got it. And but then, I think it, I think it either dims your light when you go off, mm -hmm. or it. All right. Um. um Okay, so that is that, and then same thing too with the freezer. Yep. Freezer should have an on button somewhere. Here. I think the on button's down there. What, what, what who you said both? The refrigerator, you the freezer. All right. So this runs off the battery. Yep. Okay. And when you're when you're plugged in anywhere, mm -hmm. then your battery will always charge because your okay your well, what them? down here will charge the battery. So when I'm plugged into the city or yep. to main to the 10, 110, yep. it would charge. The, it would just automatically shut that down and then charge this. It, it will charge that battery. And then stop taking yep. power from there, and of course take power from there. All right. Well, it'll, it'll, yeah. Anything that needs power will take power from, from that. Yeah. Plus, it'll just keep charging your battery. All batteries right, really the good. And then what's and then what is this guy? That is for your furnace. Um, and then of, let me turn off that. Really cool. Oh, can we try it on? Because the furnace will run off the, the gas. Yep, right there. What did you do? I just I just turned this up to, to warmer. To warmer? It's blue. Okay, it's, and it's just using gas right now? Correct. Okay. It, will, it will use gas, it needs the 12 volt to light it. And okay, it needs but, it. But the, the gas. So you need the battery. Correct. To be, it can have a dead battery and right. that works. See, now it's, it's trying to light up. Trying to light it. Like in my house. <laughs> All right. Um, probably in the summertime I wouldn't be using this at all, right? You know. All right. I never hardly ever use mine. Can, can you run? Can people live in this in the winter time in Minnesota? Not, here, not in Minnesota. This would. This would be. You you freeze your pipes and okay. as long as you didn't run water, mm -hmm. you probably could. But if you run water, yeah. If you uh, winterized it and then just kind of. Slept in it, kept mm -hmm. the heat on. It yeah. will take, it'll take a lot of propane then, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so let's get this guy yeah, back. And the, and the fan will run for a little bit, and, and then it'll stop. kick off. Yep, and then how do we? Like how do I? Uh, well, I wouldn't be able to test that today, right? Um. Yeah. Not here. Not here. Not okay. here. Because yeah, this isn't gonna. It's not gonna do anything. At All right. Point. And then let's talk about this. Um. So I think this is pretty straightforward. Connect to, well, if if I fill the water tank, yep. then I and turn on the pump, yep. can run off. Then it will, yep, it'll pressurize all this. So then when you when you open open a faucet, water will come, water come out. Will come out right? Otherwise, I put off the turn off the pump and then just use the pressure from. Right. All right. Yep. And I and, think I got there, the, there is a well, shut off too. And then if I had the water, if I had the the heat uh, side of it on, then I can get warm water Correct. with this. Correct. Yeah. But if the heat side wasn't, then I won't get the warm water. All right, pretty intuitive. And then for this guy, you just, you put your, you just press that. And it goes up the battery? Nope. Or just pressure? Yep, yep. see that? That opens that up. So if you press it a little bit down, it'll start water running into the bowl. Mm -hmm. and then. Everything will farther, and then it'll yep, and it drops straight down into the black, the black tank. tank. Okay, and then the the the, the pump has to be running. No. So well, I, yes, if if you just if you just have the like water in your tank, you're not hooked up to city water. Yeah. But, yeah. Then you have to have a pump, pump running. Water. Okay. Right. All right. And then um, I think you just treat it with the normal. I think I see folks saying they run it up to like a. One quarter of the tank, put some yeah. things in there just to. Usually, I say like like if you if you run that the bowl full probably four or five times is is enough water in there. To just get enough for the, yep. from the beginning, okay. Yep. And then put like a little drop in, or or there's like we've got the little the little liquid. Okay. All and right. A half a, so this is what the liquid a, is yep. for. A half a bottle of that. Wait, half a bottle of this yeah. for every for every every time you use it. 
No, no, every not time. every time you use it, but every time you use the camper. So once a week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Use a half a bottle. Yeah. So once I re, once I drain the black tank and yeah. I'm pulling in a new yeah. fresh like half of this. Then do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what is this called? It's holding tank treatment. Just holding tank treatment. So any holding tank treatment. Yeah. Right. And then tissue. Huh. You can run tissue down there. Yeah, but always use RV. Tissue. Paper. Okay, RV. Because RV toilet paper will break down mm -hmm. easier than regular toilet paper. And then what's this guy? That will allow you to plug into like a regular garage outlet or one can at home. Okay, and then this one? Uh, that's for your smoke detector. Smoke detector, okay. Yeah. okay. Alright guys, okay. so these are the goodies from the good folks at the Gax uh, Tampa Way Inc. in uh, South Minnesota, Manquedo. Check them out. All right, um, and then in here I thought I saw the table. The because there are some tables. Right, right. So it's um, here. Is this is this it? These. Or what is this? These are the things that go across. So where is the table? To, to make it into a bed. All right. So where is the table? That is. Where is it? Hmm. Oh, back here. Okay. Is there one back there? I'm sure there'll probably be one back there. So. Because there is supposed to be two tables. Hmm. Can you access that from outside? Probably not. I don't believe so. I'd have to look from outside, but I don't believe so. And then what is this? Do you know what this is? Oh, that's the back here. Oh, there you go. Yeah, and, you can put it behind. You know, back there, yep, 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 yep. So you can close that. Yeah, reach your curtain for the. Yeah, make it. Snaps on. Yeah, so it's not even as hot. Yeah. All right, let me really check. I just want to double check to make sure that we have two here. Is it? Are there two down there? Yes. Okay. okay. So I was thinking there was two in there too. When yeah, that's what I thought. We had it all set up. Yep. And I watched a lot of videos about this <laughs> this, uh, this particular unit. So I saw two. Okay. Hmm. Maybe it's this way. And this opens fine. I'll just double yeah. check this. Shades. Yep. Up and down. Uh, this window, you can just take it out of there. Okay. Uh, yep. And you can, if you push it to like there, it will stay open. Oh, okay. That's or it. you can push it all the way out. It'll, it's hinged, you can see. Mm -hmm. Pull the screen out, that's your steam window. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So just. That's the scale. Yeah, okay. yeah, in case you have to get out in a hurry. Yeah. Yep. All right, makes sense. Um, this Same one, thing. This one, this one. So, okay, so this is not an escape window. No. All right. And just one side opens. Yes. Yeah. All right. And just make sure so, that when you close mm, it, then it. So none of this can run off the battery. That's really strange. Right. But can 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 I get uh, an inverter to like if I want to run my laptop without necessarily like boondocking? Um, yeah, you probably can get an inverter and run it off of the battery. But then how would that how would that connect in here? Would that just um, take? Is there like just kind of fun like little power coming up from here that the the inverter can can well, tap? You'd have, to, you'd have to run a cord in from the battery. 
or maybe take one of this and that would, yeah, there you go. and then send it to the right. inverter to right. all right, right. True. True. Yeah. Hmm. all right all right this is good education what else uh, what else should I be aware of uh, we've looked at the kitchen side we've looked yeah. at the back side maybe I understand how this this is all off that's good yeah. this will need CD power or whatever power to run so yeah. unless it's an inverter this always stays those music I could hear that you have to and get a bright start lawn and garden 230 CCA yeah you have to play around with that yeah it's just electronic stuff right. Right. Um, and then this is for the awnings yeah. awnings, awnings. The then this is for the awning light no, then the outside light Outside light. On the outside light, I call it awning light, yeah, outside light. Um, and then inside yeah. light. And then this is just for more air. Yep. There is no... Uh, you just crank it open. Yeah, there's, there's no fan. Can I put the fan there if I wanted to? Yeah. And the fan will sit from the outside and then bring air back and forth. Is that right. how it works? Yeah, okay. you can get fans that do that. Um, yeah, okay. you have to... I can look up that. That's yeah. not all right. Pull power off of that light. So I just have to take it by faith that this works. It works. Yeah. All right. And then if it, if it yeah, you, you do have a warranty. Your warranty too. Yeah, on all of but this. It, yeah. The warranty because this is not the this is not you guys' warranty. It's not even the manufacturer warranty. It's the warranty well, for these guys. And I, and I think this has. Don't quote me, but I think this may have a two-year warranty from, from through, through Coleman. Coleman, right? okay. Because right. Coleman is probably selling it to KZ. KZ and, yeah. Okay, so I wouldn't be calling KZ. I'll be calling Coleman if this isn't working. The For the first year, you can any KZ dealer can do it. Right. But then any if it's just a Coleman thing... Mm -hmm. Are you, and since you guys RV are KZ dealer. dealers, then I'll be talking to you then. Right. Are the KZ dealers in, in the cities you know of? Um, I believe there is. Okay. I, I, I know Pleasure Land in St. Cloud is. I oh, Pleasure Land in St. Cloud? Yeah. Well, there's one too in. Uh, That's what I was thinking in like. There's one in. Um, Shaka Anoka. Anoka. Yeah, I, I was there. But I didn't think I saw it. I, I didn't think I saw it crazy because that was. That's why I had to come all the way here. But, okay. And then that works off the barrier, I think. Correct. Correct. That one does. Mm -hmm. The window works the same as the window back there. Back there, okay. Mm -hmm. um, that one that just puts the things together and... Like this. Yep. Yeah, and then fill that. That's one of those things that make two hands, especially at first. Yeah. Let's see if I can get it. This awkward angle. There we go. All right, got it. Then lots of storage. And I guess this is part of the TV. Or something back there. Yeah, there's some. I don't. Maybe just an extra. Hour. Um. Or maybe that's the where's inverter. The where's, where's the awning poles? Awning poles. Where, where does that end up? Uh, yeah. Right there is where your power for for the awning. That's why they have that. It covers up the power for the awning. Okay, this so is so switch there that takes right. takes takes it to. Yep. So I'm guessing if I wanted. Okay. And then those speakers play inside and then play out here too as well. All right. Yeah, there's, there's zones on the radio. All right. And then you can, oh, you can control the zones from that. Yes. Yes. Okay, pretty easy. To do inside. Or outside or, or, outside, or, both. or both. And then probably I'm sure there's Bluetooth to, to pair to your phone yes, and all the good stuff. So. All right. So let's just kind of walk outside here. Okay. So here's, here's where your furnace comes out. So I don't want, I want to keep this open all the time. Right, right. Yeah. And it, one of them, it sucks air in, blows air out. Okay. So, um, and then you got more 110 out there. More 110 for outside yeah. use. Yeah. All right, tire pressure is good. I'm going to always check that. What's the pressure for the tire? I should keep it at? Uh, whatever it says. Whatever it says on there. All right, got it. Yeah. The weather tire is Awnings. Your, yeah, your back, door. back door. Oh, this is part of the reason why I was sold on this. I'm going to put the, the camera at some point, but... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but not today. I think I was gonna try to get it. I think I told you about it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know it's like four screws. Yeah, I can probably put it myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as you get the Furion camera. The Furion. Yeah. 
And then does it, it just Bluetooth it to my front car there? Is that what happens? Okay. Does it just Bluetooth, yeah. Bluetooth yep, it to it'll, my yep, it'll, you'll get a screen. screen with it and it'll just pair with the screen? By, by Bluetooth, it's yep. not even a cable. Yep. Okay. Yep. No, yeah, no cable. All right. So one twenty. That's where you hook your. Is that one ten? It says one twenty five. One ten. Yeah. Why did it say one twenty five? Well, one ten, one twenty five. Okay. It depends on. All right. Then black. Yep. Your your uh, black and gray tank. This yep. is your black tank. That's your gray tank. Yeah, I always want to do the black and then do the, the gray. Black tank first. Mm -hmm. Let it all run out. Then, then do the gray tank. Plug gray the tank. line out. All right. Out. Yep. And then when I'm packed, like I'm gonna take this now. I'm pack it. Always put this down. Yeah. Always put this down. Yeah. Like in there when we're walking, it kind of yeah. Here. That'll take a lot of that. That shock. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. always put this down. Okay. Um, this is where you would hook up your hose for city water. Mm -hmm. And this is where you would fill the tank. Okay. If you're, if you're gonna fill the tank. And this is your water. Heater. All right. So here's your your. That's how you drain it. Mm -hmm. That's that's an anode rod. Oh. Uh, okay. Once it once it gets eaten away. It's like yeah. a sacrificial rod. Yeah, and then you replace it every so yes. often. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I would drain the water after every time you use it. Oh, really? Drain the water heater? Yeah, like so. if, if you if you go someplace for a weekend or a, mm -hmm. even a week, and then you're you're gonna park it for a week or two, drain, drain the, the water off so that it doesn't sit there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Otherwise, it's gonna get kind of skunky. All know, right, got it. Down. Good tip. I didn't know that, so thank you. Oh yeah, you have to put that on before you. Yeah, let me get my... Uh, let's get the... Let's get the battery. Yeah, we need that. All right, and then in front here, we're gonna do the hookup and I'll see how that works. All right, you know what? I never saw the top. Do I need to, uh, when I was at the store, I would see folks uh, uh, buying like cork and all the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I think I, I probably have to do that every so often. Yes, check your seams at least twice a year, like every six months, just check the seams. Just like go up all around, oh, check. Yep, yep. All, of, all of these, like your, your windows. Um, yeah, just make sure that the the seal is good. All right. On, on your roof, the same way, it'll it'll have self leveling caulk on it. Mm -hmm. um, if it if it starts to get self leveling, brittle, self leveling caulk on on the roof seams. Like that, like yeah, this on the roof. Yeah, because okay. like like up there, there's this would be all rubber basically going across. But then yeah. On the, on the side, it's got machines and around your vents and stuff. Just got that yeah, every so every year or so yeah. kind of check well, that. Out. Twice a year, at least. Twice a year. Yeah. Okay. And if it's softer, if it, if it gets like harder brittle, kind of brush off the old. Yeah, and then put a new one. Almost like what you do with the bathroom kind of thing. Okay. Right, right. But if it if it's good, mm -hmm. and it yeah, if it's good, you won't have to do anything with it. Okay. But every yeah, always check it. All right. Okay. And then uh, any other maintenance from the top side of things? That's the main thing. All right. And then, no, otherwise, make sure that the vents aren't, don't get cracked or anything like that. Okay, okay. just check the vents. So. Yeah. And then I see there's a antenna, like a Wi-Fi receiver already up there. Yeah, there's a, yeah, it's a TV antenna for sure. See. Right there. Um, yeah, it's a TV antenna. Okay. The little spaceship flippy thing. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so, but uh, let me see. How come when you guys are parked all your RVs, you don't have those down? Uh, that's so we can just hook on and move on. 
but when I like if I'm, even in storage like I, I have a storage place if I just pack for storage do I need that down there or just Not necessarily. but when I'm uh, when you're inside then you want it Cause when I'm inside basically, yeah, mm -hmm. It's to stabilize the... Oh, yeah, so, so when I'm inside and actively staying, then right. I do that. If I'm just yeah. packing, I really don't right. need it. Okay. Right. Yeah, we never, like, even, like, on the lot or, mm -hmm. or even when they're getting service to yeah. the shop, we don't. Why, why is this guy, why doesn't this one have the cover? Uh, they just don't put a cover on these. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, and then let me just check the under. Seems pretty sealed, so it's all good. All right. Uh, I'm ready to be out of here. Pretty good. Yeah. Fire extinguisher. <laughs> By law, you have to have that, right? I'm sure. By law, you have to have a fire extinguisher, right? All right. Awesome. You know, I have my, my checklist, so I should start uh, getting used to that. Sorry, what is this? This is, this is like just to get a, like an external stove, right? Correct, correct. Yeah, that propane connection will run off of the, the tank. Yeah, just to get a... Yeah. How do you know if you're running low of propane, you're just gonna have to... You'll run out. Okay, there's you know, no. Okay. On, on this one, unfortunately, you can. I mean, if you loosen up your tank, mm -hmm. sometimes you can feel the pressure. Well, well you'll, you'll, then you'll be able to know how. Yeah, it it's just like in my house too. Like sometimes I kind of. It's like because this is basically. I don't know if you grill at home. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The same. Yeah, yeah it's just like in the house. Yeah. You can literally buy the ones, the bottles you use in the house for this. Okay. Yeah, same exact thing. But it always seems like the ones I see on trailers are always the white ones, not the ones. The, the ones I get for the house, they always have some blue colors from the gas station. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. But these ones always seem white. Maybe it doesn't make a you difference. Just buy generic ones without, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, okay. So let's uh, hook this guy up and then uh, go take care of paperwork. And... Yep. So. You've got that secured on there? Yeah. I think, yeah, I put the new one in and then that's locked there. I used to throw a boat with that, so it's, uh, So I just kind of back up and then... Do you have a camera? Have yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. All right, guys, so let's go. That was uh, pretty, pretty good. Yeah. yeah, it just, yeah. All right. So. Can I show you how to do it. Yeah, I used to. Okay. No, let me. No, no, I, I can take. I used to put the boat, so I think okay. I kind of have an idea. Okay. Yeah, this just pulls back. And then. To, to release it, and it'll and just then, slide forward when it to put it on there. So is it ready now to slide forward? Uh, is yeah, the pressure it, there now? It's, see, it is forward now. So we can see that unlocked. So, oh, that's unlocked. Yep. Okay. That is locked. That is locked. Okay, so unlocked. Yep. All right, and then you, you just sit it on top. Yep. And then locked. Yep. Okay, if it doesn't sit this way, then it's not locked. Right, All right. right. Not, a, not a bad idea to put a pin or a something pin. through there. Yep. Do you guys have pins there yourself? Yeah, I can, I can grab a, I can grab a bolt and put it there okay. for them. All right, and then uh, this guy. Yep. This kind of goes into this one. So we're gonna put that in here. Yeah, turn it, 
other oh, way. Oh, this there other way, yes. yeah. So that's... So that's yep, that's lots lined up there. All right. There you go. That should be in there. So, okay, this just kind of... Oh, good design. See that? That kind of holds it. Yep. Um, then let it down some more. Yeah, I'm going to have to maybe <laughs> increase the shots of this car. That's as low as it's going to go because it's, it's got all the weight on it. All right. And then you just take this up as far as you can. Yeah. So it's, so it's up out of the way so you're not going to scrape it on the ground. Yeah, it, like if you hit a bump or something like that. So, yeah, probably. Shouldn't be too terribly difficult to replace this with a auto auto no. one. No, because it should bolt the same. Three Just take it out right and down. then. Mm -hmm. yep, right and then run it off the. Run a wire back to your battery. Yeah. Connect, yeah. Run it off the battery. Yep. Now, what is this? Yes, this is a junction box? Yes. Okay. And then we got safety chains here as well. Yeah, the safety chains, you probably just want to. I typically cross, yeah. Uh, in the past, I'll just cross them across. Oh, there's just one? No, nope, there's two. Oh. There's two. Okay. Let's get your. Let's get your. Uh... Okay. You need to hook. There's some. On one of the, the, yeah. the chains. And what is that one? That is the brake. Your brake away for your electric brake. All right. So, so if, it, if, it gets, if this if this ever came out, and then I was pulling by this, right, this tension would go on this, yep. which would trigger the brakes and the tires yep, would stop it'll going. It'll pull out. It'll pull this pin out, mm -hmm. which will lock the brakes up. Okay. So I want to put that actually. So three things get the, the this one is what was this called again the seven seven pin seven mirror. seven pin wow. and then get the safety chains and then the brake yeah. all right so how do we too bad yeah i think uh i would probably flip that over yeah when uh yeah because then it would give enough small space so this is not as sinking as much yeah when i get back i'll find the key and flip that over um and then i heard for this size i can get away with this but at some point the weight distribution would help quite a bit is that the case yeah yeah all right you can Yeah, and you may notice, you may notice that it sways a little bit, mm -hmm. or, you know, that you may want to step up to that, even with this size trailer. With this size trailer, like when I'm driving back, because this is my first time driving with this, so I think I'm going to go, you probably want to stay on the 60, right? I, I, I would start there, yeah. Yeah, or 50, goes slow. I think today is not windy, so I should be good. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Once you start it up, let's check the lights. The lights, okay. Yeah. So that's the brake controller I got. My car is kind of messy, bear with me. Let's start this. Checking the traffic data. Sorry? That's right. Left. Left right now. And then brakes. Brakes is good. All right. Let me pull out and then, uh, so I just kind of go this way with test the awning. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I 
I don't feel the... This is the first time I'm pulling a trailer. I don't feel the weight. I thought I was gonna feel... Um, I thought I was gonna feel... You know, this is the first time pulling a trailer and I don't feel... I thought I was gonna feel the engine struggle, but I don't think I did. But anyways... You will wanna raise that up. Definitely wanna raise that up. Definitely wanna raise that up? Yeah. Okay. That will be the first thing I do when I get back. All right, let's... And, and yeah, your weight distribution would include level, you know, bring the back of the truck up a little bit too. If once I get the weight distribution? Yeah. Okay. All right. But yeah, I would definitely take that. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. I think I had the, the boat that I carried for some reason. Yeah, and, you, and you probably need to lock it up there, otherwise it'll walk away, yeah? Oh yeah, because somebody's just gonna can take it away and <laughs> so I, I put the lock there and I was trying to find the key. That's just part of the reason I kind of delayed because I was looking for the key. Yeah, we're, not, we're, we're, we're lucky that way down here. Most people leave us stuff alone. Mm-hmm. Not always. Yeah. You wanna run now? Yep, let me run, run it so I can get used to it. So guys, we're gonna check out the awning now. So the power is always on and the battery is always going to just be... Like if I'm storing this, I probably don't want the battery... You probably want to disconnect your battery if you store it for like three weeks or so. Like three weeks or so, yep. yeah. Because your, like your radio presets, your... And all of those will just be yep. trained. And you just yep. disconnect it from the front there. Yep. You might want to show me how to do that. Okay. So we're going to extend the awning. Oh, out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay, so make sure this door is out of the way, otherwise. And it's mainly when you roll it back up, so you don't touch the door. Oh, this feels good. Jeez. I've been tenting for the longest time, and uh, so it makes a big difference. How do you know? Uh, because this is hanging. Like, down. would this just stop automatically if I kept going? Well, it won't because it'll start wrapping it up backwards. Then. If I just keep going, yeah. can I try it? Yeah. Yeah. Now it's starting to wrap it up. Oh, and then it's gonna keep going down and. Oh, okay. I see. So, so this is. Yeah, right about here is perfect because, yeah. And then one, okay, this is really good. So once I have the awning on, yeah, you can see that really, uh, really sinking. Is there, from a maintenance perspective of the awning, are there, do I need to grease those or like? Not really, not really. Um, the, the big thing is like keeping it clean. Just power washing it. Okay. Um, if you put it away wet, you might want to mold. Just, yeah, take it back out and. Finish. Yeah, from yeah, from my tent. I uh, yeah, for the okay. tent. So that's what I try to do. Okay. All right. And then the light is good. Oh, uh, this I'm sure in 2021 they're gonna put lights. Are they? Are they? Okay. I would see them doing that. Like most people just put lights all I know the way. A lot of them have the light already. Yeah. Um, because I'm sure, yeah, most people, yeah, most of them would just have like, I mean, it's kind of cheap to do, it's not like the most expensive light, they just run the strip down there. You, you can get an add on strip, too. yep, yep, mm -hmm. yeah, because this, I don't know how bright this is at night, but oh, let's get this back. So I always make sure the door yeah, is. Make sure the door is not out there. This arm will catch it. Catch it, yeah. Fast. You would think that is smart enough to know that there's an obstruction and stuff, but I doubt. No. Like, do you tend to like from over the years? I'm sure you have to replace the awning, buy new, uh, like new uh, whatever this. Yeah, the fabric. The fabric, yeah. That's that's about it, does it? Okay. Yeah, I had to replace my awning last year because it got hailed on. 
Mm. What do you have? Um, I did have, I did have a KZ with an MXT 3180. I don't know what that is. The bigger toy hauler. Oh, it's a toy hauler, okay. Yeah, um, yeah, this guy is, the reason why when I saw this, it was just the, the one that I knew I, I wanted was because of this. Yeah, that's a, and this is the first year for these. Yep, but, yep. But this that's kind of, kind of different. Yeah. Because like the traditional toy hauler door, you wouldn't have a window. You wouldn't have a window and then you have the... Right. That yep. Sounds, mm -hmm. like, yeah, this you still you can yep. still open it up, get all the breeze. Yeah, still load stuff in. Load stuff in. But you still have the window. You to still look got out. exactly. And, and all this, all mm -hmm. the, you saw how bright it was. Yeah, that. that was it. Like some of, it off. yeah, some of them. Like I mean, I hate to pick on that, but they just it feels like so boxy. This one I can like open this up and right. have an extra space to work. Yeah, and I could put it, my boat or my bicycle or something in there without having to put it in my truck. Right. Um, yeah, I, I just thought the, the design for this one. I'm sure a lot of people would, a lot of manufacturers would probably copy. Oh, they will. They, they will, will co copy that. It, yeah, that's an excellent thing that they can do. There is no cover for this? No. no. Really? No. You can, I mean, there are hard covers. Yeah, they don't provide I can, get, like, I want to get, like, more off roady kind of tire. You see, I like the off road kind of okay. look. I can get this from like uh, any tire store, right? I'm sure. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Okay. As long as, yeah, that size. Yeah, I would just tell them I need this uh, size and hopefully. As long as, yeah, make sure that they know what is going on. So yeah. Can, uh, carry the weight. Yeah. But I would think, I would think like a set tire is good. Yeah, I, I just want like with the ones with just with more off roady kind of look. I, I like the off roady look. Okay. All right. Very good, very good. Well, thanks for helping me uh, through this. It's a lot of education. Uh, really appreciate it. So guys, we're gonna go in now, take care of the paperwork, and then uh, we're gonna bring this uh, baby home. All right, see you on the other side.